Hey everybody, Ultimate Oddball here. Today I'm going to discuss a study which polled people about language surrounding autism. Researchers used an online poll of 3,470 people who were either autistic, parents of autistic people, professionals working in autism or related fields, or family slash friends of autistic people. The participants were initially gathered from the mailing list for the National Autistic Society with those initial participants recommending others they knew who would also fit the criteria. All of the participants were located in the United Kingdom. Participants were asked to respond to different terms used to describe autism and autistic people. The survey consisted of four questions. Part A asked participants to identify, from a list, the terms they prefer to use when discussing autism. This included autism, autism spectrum disorder, Asperger's, and others. Part B asked participants to choose the terms they would use for themselves or for the autistic person they know. This included terms such as autistic, person with autism, Aspergian, and other similar language. Part C asked participants to rate their preference for terms to describe autism from a provided list on a 5 point scale, with 1 being strongly dislike and 5 being strongly like. Part D asked participants to select from the list which one term they would use to describe autism. Results showed that people use a variety of language to describe autism in autistic people. There was a particular divide between people who are actually autistic and non-autistic people, which is something that many self-advocates have significant experience with. Researchers found that 61% of autistic adults endorsed the term autistic, with 52% of family members and friends also doing so, and 51% of parents. Considerably fewer professionals endorsed the use of autistic at only 38%. This provides a stark contrast with the term person with autism, which was endorsed by 49% of professionals, but only 28% of autistic adults, and 22% of parents. Interestingly, researchers also noted that, quote, while a significant proportion of autistic adults stated that they used the terms autistic person and Aspie, only a minority of other participants agreed, end quote. I would be remiss if I didn't point out that respecting the preferred language of another person is a tenet of common decency and basic respect. This is something which often doesn't happen when it comes to autistic people. The only reason I can guess is that non-autistic people who do this either don't respect autistic people or consider them lacking in competence and thus don't think it necessary to respect our wishes. One common term which very few individuals endorsed was, quote, low-functioning autism. As I pointed out in the past, binary functioning labels like this are dismissive in many ways and minimize an individual to nothing more than a stereotype or generalization. It is not effective at communicating ability and is simply used for convenience despite it not communicating anything in particular. Thus, I think it should be done away with and different language should be used. An interesting area of note is the divide between professionals and the people who interact with autistic people as well as autistic people themselves. Professionals reported using person-first language rather than identity-first language. Person-first language includes terms like person with autism or has autism, while identity-first language uses terms like autistic. Many autistic adults, especially self-advocates, tend to prefer identity-first language for a number of reasons. Professionals naturally tend to consider themselves experts in their field, but it's also important in this case to consider the reason so many autistic people feel this way. This study shows that language surrounding autism is highly variable, but also consistent among certain themes. Hopefully research like this illuminates the subject better for non-autistic people and highlights problematic areas which can be addressed. Well, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for coming by. Have a great day. Hey everybody, Ultimate Oddball here. If you want to stay up to date with my videos, click subscribe. I release a new video on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I do gaming commentary and review, I talk about my experiences on the autism spectrum, and I share my opinions and thoughts on a variety of matters. My hope is that, through my videos, I can help to dispel some of the misinformation, confusion, and negativity people have regarding autism. Thank you for helping me do that by watching these videos.